Hello, so today we're gonna talk about something relating to vectors. So basically for vector things, so it's kind of like uh, talking about something relating to the length in which where uh, the position or the direction is considered as well. So let's say for example if we are having a length a b and then for example, the length here is like 10 cm. So, and then if we are talking about a vector AB, so usually we are just talking about from A all the way to B. Okay, so, and then this is the direction of vector, all right? So, and then basically for the direction of vector, we will have the magnitude, which is the length, as well as the directions which is like the angle here. So, and therefore, usually we are just talking about finding uh, the angle between the horizontal directions to the particular vectors. So this is the meaning of vector. So sometimes our students are confused about uh, doing the addition of vectors. For example, if we are having two vectors joining together, let's say A to B. So what we are doing should be, we are just trying to find the length of AB and then the next part will be from B to C. So if we are doing the addition of vectors, all right, so let's say we are talking about AB plus BC. Okay, so vector in physics, so we call this displacement actually, all right? So AB plus BC, so we're just considering the end point and also the starting point, and then we just join them together. So and then we'll get the result should be AC, which is the resulting vector of AB plus BC. So, and sometimes you we'll use some kinds of uh, things we call this a parallelogram law. So let's say for example, if we are having two directions, one is A B, the other one is A C. So if the question is looking for A B plus A C, it seems that we cannot do any addition, right? But actually, we are just trying to like moving this vector. So if we, they are having the same direction as well as they are having the same magnitude, so we will just say that. So basically, so AB will be the same as CD. Okay, so and therefore, so if we are doing something like AB plus AC, it will be just like we are doing AC plus CD. So and as a result, we'll get the answer to be AD and then we just draw the diagonal line across AB and AC and the parallelogram that we draw from this part and then we're just kind of like getting the di diagonal line as well as like drawing the vector direction of AD will be the result of AB plus AC so, and then uh, I hope this video will help you to like consolidate what uh, you want to learn across vectors as well as uh, kind of like learning the starting point of the vectors. So, and then for the next videos, maybe we can just came across some uh, other advanced part of vectors. All right. So, and then uh, please enjoy. See you.